Hey guys, Dave Jr. with Well Built Equipment. Don't forget to check us out on the web, wellbuiltequipment.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, comment in the comment section down below. Today we're going to run you guys through how to do a continuity test to see if part of your cable might be broken or other wiring on your machine. Uh, this is something one of our technicians might ask you to do over the phone in order to help diagnose a problem you have on your piece of equipment. Uh, for the purposes of this video, we went and got your off-the-shelf cobalt meter from Lowe's Home Improvement. Uh, I'm going to show you guys today how to do a continuity test with this one. So first thing we're going to do is turn the dial over to this sound note here, which could be a music note if you already have a meter. And then once you do, we're going to go ahead and touch the leads together just to see if it makes an audible beep. And it's not right now. So in the case of this cobalt, we're going to change the mode so that it is making an audible beep when they can't make contact. All right, there we go. And then the machine we're working on today has small pinholes. So we have a little probe adapter here. I uh, got off of Amazon and you can see that'll allow us to do a continuity check through a much smaller opening. So in the case of this easy lift, we disconnected the control cable from up in the box. That cable goes up here through this weather tight that we already loosened, you can see, and then goes through to a multitude of electrical tape connections up here that we're gonna be checking. On other machines, this might go to Wago blocks or terminal strips or butt joints, uh, maybe some plugs, kind of just depends on what the manufacturer decided to do. You can see I already removed some electrical tape here from one of those. I'm gonna go ahead and hold my one meter lead against that wire. And then we're going to go back to our plug and just go in a circle and listen for beeps. So there we go, we found that one. And now we're just gonna make sure none of them are crossed and check every other hole in there. And then once we're done doing that and we confirm where every pin goes to that it has continuity through to its connections, that's gonna tell us if there's a broken wire or not. If one of them doesn't pass continuity through to a connection up in the box, then that would mean we have an issue between where this connects and where it terminates up here on top of the jib. Thanks for stopping by and watching our video, and don't forget to comment down below.